This video has been funded in part by the Guild via Patreon. Check out the links in the description or at the end of this video for more details. Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Chris Gildart and welcome to a new Let's Play of Anima! Gate of Memories! I've always wanted to play this, I've uh, not played it yet, so, you know, we're gonna experience it together for the first time. Or at least I'm going to. I'm going to go on easy because I just want to chill time. Alright. What do you Some got for say me? say that the world is coming to an end. Maybe they're right. For more than a year, everything has been plunged into chaos. The sacred holy empire of Abel, once a symbol of power and stability, has fallen. Broken and fragmented, the nations that were once part of it sought after the empty throne, and now the shadow of an insane war threatens to engulf everything. Oblivious to the conflict, the Order of Nathaniel, founded centuries ago to keep humanity safe from what lurks in the night, continued its restless fight against the dark. Over the ages, the Order waged countless secret wars, always hiding from mankind that the monsters who walked among us, our darkest fairy tales, were still there. And then, two days ago, something unexpected happened. While the Order was negotiating a way to stop the upcoming conflict with the Warring States, the Red Lady, a high-ranking member of Nathaniel, stole one of the artifacts that the organization had sealed in the dark long ago. The Byblos, a book written with the blood of the founder of the Order. Nobody knew why she took it, nor the importance of the artifact, but I, Romeo Exet, leader of Nathaniel, did. Understanding what was at stake, I was forced to send the best agents of the organization to recover it at any cost. As fate would have it, amongst all of those agents, it would be the girl with no name, a cursed child bringing calamity with her, who would find it. All right. Well, I'm going to turn the music down just a little bit because the voices were a little hard to hear at points, but... Dot, dot, dot. This place is devastated. I didn't think that the war had already come this far. Ignore that nonsense, baby. What mankind does doesn't concern us. Our prey is near, I can tell. At last we will have some fun. What is it, uneasy? That's not like you. You have nothing to fear. You are the bearer of calamities. You have at your disposal the most powerful weapon in the whole of creation sealed in a damned book. You've got me. Shut up. Okay. I was not expecting a sassy talking book. Oh god, I need to... Uh... Can I invert... Oh no. Oh, oh yes, invert Y. Okay. Uh, and let's just turn up... God damn it. Uh, okay, I'll just keep it like that. And we'll turn you down just ever so slightly. Actually, you know what? Let's turn you up even more. Continue. All right, so. I had a feeling I could break that thing. I'm glad I was right. So. I don't know what I'm collecting here, but. There seems to be yellow things that, uh. I, I just have to keep checking these little nooks and crannies to see if there's anything that I can do. Press A to jump. Um. Okay. 
Cool. That was a little hard to see where Welcome I was going. Welcome, bearer of calamities. I knew they would send you. Unfortunately, you've come too soon. I have not finished yet. Lady, in recognition of your years of work for the Order, I will give you a chance to surrender and return the Biblos. As pragmatic as ever. Well, I didn't expect a greeting from you. What have you done with this place? Make no mistake, Bearer of Calamities, I had nothing to do with the destruction of this city. Its inhabitants left before the armies of the Empire arrived. To prevent them from taking it, the people set it on fire and killed everyone who wanted to stay. It's human nature. War. Murder. Death. It is something you should already be accustomed to. I didn't come here to listen to your pointless speech. Give me the artifact. I will not ask again. Unfortunately, I'm not finished with it yet. But don't worry. I've prepared something to entertain you and your... creature. Goodbye forever, bearer of calamities. Wait! Damn. All right, so now we actually got some, uh... Oh. Is there a lock on? Yes, there is. Sweet. That was the thing that I was worried about. I wanted... Oh, it's that button. Whoopsie. I was pressing the wrong button. Ooh. Okay, so the the gameplay is actually like pretty decent, all things considered. Ooh, okay. Oh, hey, gotta. Ooh, I did something. Okay. So I was surprised that you didn't pounce on that woman. Did you know her? She is one of the people who took care of my indoctrination after I signed my pact with you. Um no. <laughs> this is what I was looking for. Um now press the X to equip the weapon or artifact. Okay. Something like your teacher, eh? Shut up. Alright. So, that was weird. Um. Yeah. So what was I going to say? I was going to say something, and that's why I got a little bit silent there. Um, essentially, the, this game feels like it's going to be kind of a God of War-esque game, but not, like, too hack and slashy. So where do I go from here? I'm guessing I go this way. I just realized there's a map down in the bottom right, or, yeah, bottom right corner. What's over here? Save point? Nope, just more... Is that experience? Like the equivalent to the God of War orbs. But uh, some of you might be thinking, you know, where's uh, Shante? Why? Well, unless you watched the last episode where I rage quit. Um, essentially, it was a little too hard uh, for me to enjoy do and make a let's play out of. I'll probably play that... Uh, a little bit more on my own time, but as far as uh, playing it on the channel, I feel like I should uh, have some fun gameplay that uh, it's not like several episodes of the same thing. I don't know. 
Uh, plus, the Shantae episodes aren't, uh, they don't bring in a, a, a ton of views, so you gotta, gotta adapt, right? Um, and what I want the Thursday slot to be is just whatever I really feel like. So, if I'm not having it, I'm gonna, oh, what's this? Okay. So... You can equip consumable items. Press Y. Cool. Uh, I think that was it for there. Um, now you've got me curious as to whether or not I should be jumping up places. Okay. But I've always wanted to try this game out... Um, it's been on my list of things to try for a very long time, uh, and Chelsea had got it for Xbox One, I was wanting to buy it for PS4 because I didn't have an Xbox One for the longest time, and then, you know, I got myself an Xbox One, so of course, I'm gonna play it. Oop. Okay, I gotta get better at dodging. Okay. You gotta... If you, uh... Oop. Oh, shit. So, you've got, a, like, a stamina meter. I don't really like that for, like, an action game like this. Um, but I'm gonna take a wild stab in the dark that... Looking at the stamina meter, it's smaller than the meter, like, the white meter. And I'm guessing the yellow meter is my health. Um... So, like, what my thoughts are is that uh, since all of those are different sizes, I'm going to be able to upgrade them as I go. So, I have no idea how to save in this game. But we should probably save pretty soon and call it an episode. Because, well, I've got to get some more recording done and some more editing. So how do I save? Is it in here? Uh, nope. Uh, let's get at, wait. And, no. So, I don't know how to save. Let's, uh, just keep running around, I guess. Life fragment obtained. Uh. Did you know I don't like water that much? Maybe being sealed in a book for so long has affected me after all. Okay, cool. I do like the little bit of banter um, as you're playing the game. This... I feel like I'm gonna like this game. Ooh, I think I can equip that. Um, Okay. So I don't know where to go to save the game. But I'm hoping I find out sometime. I feel like I need to climb you. Life fragment. Okay. 
I was hoping that was going to be like an equipment item or something. Um, and then there's also you over here. Uh, magic soul. All right. To lock onto enemies. Uh. Heaven's wrath. Da, 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 da. I have no idea what I'm doing, where I'm going, or anything. So hopefully, I'm doing the right thing. Oh, shit. Has anyone ever told you you're too pushy, my dear? Wow, an existential barrier. And one of substantial power, if I may say. Suggestions? I sense two... No, three seals that support the barrier nearby. We must go back and find them if we want to move on. Don't worry. I'll make them visible for you, baby. I don't like the way he's talking to me, but, uh... We'll see where it's going. I don't know, that... His character seems very weird to me. Like... I don't know if it's supposed to be off-putting. Nice and close. One down, two to go. Okay. So hopefully when I'm done of this, I can save. Cause I don't want this episode to be like five hours long. Okay, there's another one. one more. feel like there's something around here for me. But I could be wrong. It's just my gamer senses. <laughs> okay. The barrier has fallen, baby. <laughs> Just makes me feel so slimy. What's over here? Got some enemies. Yep, that's what the enemy icon is for the map. Okay, so th I think the yellow stuff heals. Looks like not only does it, like, provide some experience. Or is that money? The circular thing? I don't know, guys. I'm just, I'm trying to... kind of understand and play this game um it, don't get me wrong it is a it's fun so far i don't want to say it's a lot of fun because it, it it is kind of feeling a little bit repetitive but um 
I'm enjoying it so far. I hope you guys are as well. Uh, I'm imagining there's going to be cutscene coming up. No? Okay. How do I know it's saved? Like, does it auto-save? Oh, God. Come on. Try me, bitch. Okay. So now, what do I need to do? Do I just keep running forward? How do I save? How does one save in this game? I need to know. I need to end this episode. As interesting as this game is, I don't want to be playing it for the rest of my life. Okay. Than the others. Come oh. on. Let me okay. out. Shut up. Just, uh. Party pooper. Yeah. Whoa. That's a uh... fuck. Um. Yeah. Don't. Okay. Got it. S fuck. Shit. At least I'm getting better at dodging. Oh. Woo. Achievement. First down. Defeat a memory knight. Noise. All right. Uh, can I jump up? No. I must need to go over this way. There we go. Get this. Another ring. Bam. I don't know what these things do. Oh, my magic defense goes up. Sweet. So let's keep going. Uh, so I think it's safe to say that the game might auto-save. Oh, wait. I'm going to take a wild guess that that thing that just appeared down in the bottom left-hand corner was the auto-save. So, I'm going to call it here, guys. Uh, hopefully that is a save. Uh, if it's not... You'll see a different game next week, because I will be rage quitting. <laughs> Anyways, everybody, I hope you're enjoying this uh, video, this Let's Play. Uh, if there's any other games you'd like to see on the Thursday slot, let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe for more, because there's... Oh. I have no idea what I just did. But that was... Ooh. Ooh. That's... I'm going to have to use that in a battle. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, uh, like and subscribe because uh, there's Let's Plays every Monday through Friday. Fridays are Let's Play Challenge Day, so if you've got a challenge for me, you can leave it down in the comments below. You can tweet at me with the hashtag Challenge Chris, or you can join the Discord group. There's a link in the description below, and you can uh, submit your challenges in the channel there. Or, if you'd like to help support the channel even further than that, you could join the guild via Patreon. Just like these awesome people that you see on screen, you can join their names at the end of every single video for just a dollar a month. And with that being said, thank you to the guild, thank you for watching the video, and I will see you all down in the comments.